We apologize if this video seems to be a bit out of place considering the current situation and traveling being far from the most important thing at the moment, but we have a lot of good memories to share and we think a lot of people seek distraction, so we hope this video can be that, and we hope you all stay very safe. This is our first time in Argentina and this is actually our first full day other than the mishap of setting everything up, getting a SIM card and kind of settling in yesterday. All right. So right now we are walking to the subway station. That is one good thing that I love about a city. So you can easily go around by, by the subway train. Is that the subway station? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hello, I need to go to Fosalta de... Derecho? Derecho. Uh, one, stop, one stop, I think. Okay. So just walk okay. six blocks. But I mean, it's far. Yes. You want to walk? Yeah, I mean, if it, she's basically telling us to save the money, don't buy, take the subway when you can walk. I mean, I want to try taking the subway too. It's pretty hot out. It's one stop. It's like four blocks. Three blocks. Yeah, dude, it's super close. It is? Yeah, Perfect. seven minute walk. Okay, then we walk. So the main area we're yeah. staying in is called Recolete. It's a really common area to stay for tourists. It's like considered one of the higher end areas of the city. It's basically like being in the US. It's literally just as clean. The service is, if not better than the US, it's really a nice area to stay in and you can stay in an airbnb for around 150 to 160 a week and that's with like a three percent weekly discount from airbnb and if you're not going to stay with airbnb i'm not too sure on the price exactly that's what we have learned on the second years of travel and third year of travel we try to make sure that we're not going to pay for just because accommodation is cheap but if we have to pay more like about 10 US dollar more per night or it's worth it. five dollars more per night but it's near in the city center that we can walk around anywhere easily then we go for that it's just easier and more convenient when it comes to actually getting things done and doing things it saves you a lot of time hello that is so strange that's the security guard <laughs> oh, that's awesome you are awesome <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. I thought it was like a like a billboard at first and I was I know, like, wait, he's too. he's moving and like his eyes aren't like doing the same thing, like they're changing. And like I really paid attention and then he started waving at us. Dude, what? my blowing. This is my first time seeing something I've like this. I've never even seen that in the US. I haven't seen the street food here yet. Neither have I, and actually this market that we're going to when I was reading reviews on it, they said there wasn't any street food here either. So we might end up hitting like some sort of restaurant that we can find some local food empanada. and try some from lo some local delicacies tonight. Some empanada. That's just a big thing in Argentina though. I think Argentina is the birthplace of empanada, right? I don't know. But what I know is that they, are, they have such a good steak. Like they are well known for the steak and wine. Cheap wine too. One dollar for bottle. If you guys love wine, it doesn't taste bad either. It's, it's good. Hey, you drank three of them last night. I drank three of them last night. It's surprising, like out of all the places we've been in South America so far, this reminds me of my hometown. It's just a lot of a lot of things give me that hometown like USA vibe. I don't know. Yeah, it's very organized in my opinion. Very, very organized. Very, very well maintained. Hola. What is this one for? It's for it's whacking you. When you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you picked this one. It's pretty small. Yeah, I think that's you're really humane. It's because I care about you so much. Is that really a knife? It's a chop. Yeah, like for butter, I think it's like uh, stuff, uh, for butter. Cheese in uh, there. That's so cool. This is yes. the way. Uh, My grandma used to have one like this for opening letters. Yes. The letter stuff. opener. Yeah. 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 Zero waste lifestyle. <laughs> more leather. More leather. More jewelry. More leather. More jewelry. More leather. Yeah. <laughs> what is this one? Handmade coffee cups. 
Oops. Muy bueno, rico. <laughs> he want me he want me to try it. Ah, no. That was neat. Oh, it's French. Yeah, hey, yes. It's yes. good. Muy muy bueno, muy delicia. Del delicioso. Maybe we yeah. get a cup. Ah, uh, ¿cuánto es? 200. 200. Vaso grande. 200 peso, es peso, peso. 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 Me. No, yes, yes, yes. Muy delicia, very good. <laughs> Keep feeding me. Oh, las dos were very sweet. Yes. Uno. Uno. Time to get fresh up because it's pretty hot outside right now. So we get a juice. No, no, no para boca. No boca. No, not for eating? Colipsia. Collection. Collection. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> That's crazy. It says leather. Whoa. What do you guys really like? I mean, it's an amazing craftsmanship. Amazing craftsmanship, but it's like strange. So That's nice to you here. It's um, so funny. He was like, he said he remembered Jimmy. I was like, Jimmy wears correct. sunglasses. How I've been, I've been, I've been watching your vlogs in Colombia, and they're very awesome. Very good. Thank you. No problem. What's your name, by the way? Um, Amir. Thank you, guys. All right. Enjoy. Good Welcome. seeing you. You no too. You. Take care. Dude. He said he noticed because the way I walk, man. That's... You gotta watch a lot of YouTube <laughs> to see how I walk. <laughs> Wish we had a house. No, oh, too bad. I'm, I don't have a house. <laughs> yeah, we just move around. That's a problem. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> Depends on who's asking. We just keep walking further along the market, and then this is what we found out. It's so vibrant. Is it like somebody just painted yesterday too? <laughs> I didn't know when you sitting down in the park and you look up to the right, you see this beautiful architecture and colors. But it's actually the cultural center. It kind of looks like a church. It's 10 for roasted cashews and then 60 for water. And I was super hot and it's really warm outside, so I got some agua. Warm fried cashew nuts. They're so good. <laughs> Dude, it tastes like it tastes like sweet, like high ice. quality caramel popcorn. That is what it tastes like. Hola. What are these called? Cashew. Cashew. But what do you call them in Spanish? Castaño. Castaño. You know what the hottest one in, Sp uh, in Spanish? Yeah. But they're nuts or popcorn? Yeah, they're like cashew nuts. So they're, fr they're these. Oh, so good. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and the caramelized in sugar. The name is Gara Piñata. Gara Piñata. Gara Piñata. Good nuts. Yo, this guy's got the best nuts <laughs> in Argentina. Called Gara Piñata. Gara Piñata. They're like caramelized cashew nuts and you can get them at like the water vendors. They're so good. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so tonight is going to be quite interesting. We're getting a Argentine experience. I well, hear I haven't even tried empanada, empanada in Argentina yet, but now we are trying right, so to make our own empanada. I'm not a good cook, <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. You just have to put it. I'm still not good. But fun fact, there are so many kinds of empanada in Argentina. Is that, is that real or did you guys just make that? No, no, it's real. Okay. <laughs> I really like it there. So, if you put it too much and then you put it in the oven, boom. Okay? <laughs> you end up with no filling inside of it. So, the idea is to make a little mountain in the middle of the pastry. Oh. One. <laughs> okay. They have like carne. Carne means yeah. meat, okay? But every time we're talking about meat here in Argentina, we refer to beef. Oh, okay, so dear. Okay. Is that it? Got it. Yeah. Yeah. These so two are the same? Yeah. And these two are the same? I feel like if I need to fold this one, I can't sit. <laughs> two fingers around a bit, okay? 
That way you will be able to close the pastry in half, okay? I'm filming your fo your uh, your folding skills. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to stand up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's way better, better stand up. Both. You pinch, you stretch, and you fold, okay? So we're gonna be doing exactly the same all over. So this one is my creation of empanada. And this one is to me. Mine is magic. Mine. Mine. Yeah, Mine look like. You can website, you can make a reservation. It's super easy. It's like a dumpling. I switched uh, my reservation even from. Like, uh, that's not even Friday South America. And and that's that's an email from the This is more like Asian dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Asian, what do you expect? <laughs> smells so good. And it's great wine. And, uh, and again, I mean, you know, they have all the options like VIP, dinner, all this stuff. And that just gets you a little closer yeah. to the stage. Right. But it's oh, fine. Measure. I tried to make a turkey, it doesn't really look like a turkey. Oh, that's pretty cute. But it might not stick. That's okay, we gotta find out. Okay. It's all part of the oven process. It might transform in the oven. That's the thing that I'm worried about. Sure, the I'm making the cat. That's pretty cute. Where's the whiskers? Huh? That's why the whiskers. It was a heart, now it's a heart memory. It's a head heart array. Mine's a turkey. <laughs> Supposed to be. That looked like peacock to me. Okay, I'm going with a peacock then. There's a peacock. That's what I was going for the whole time. Yeah, right. <laughs> When this really nice waiter came and asked him something like, Che, como crees tu carnal? ¿Quieres jugosa? ¿Mejor jugosa? ¿Cómo hacerle un zapato? Gracias. Gracias. That's a good one. But yes, very Hispanic, okay? And answer, the first thing that anyone that don't speak Spanish will say, Si. Sí. Si. Sí. Por favor. Maybe or gracias, okay? And yeah, that's it. That's a good one, okay? That's all you need to survive. <laughs> that means two beers, yes. Two beers. Um, but guys, the answer of that question will never be C or yes, because that guy was asking him, how would you like your steak to be cooked? For medium, here in Argentina, we say a punto. A punto. A punto. It's easy to remember because it's reminded of puta. <laughs> and then instead of saying puta, you say puto. Let me introduce you to the side for your steaks, okay? The one that is closer to me, okay, the green one, is oven baked potatoes with a citrus herb pesto, okay? Mm -hmm. Then in the middle are gratinated vegetables, and the last one is crispy sweet potato with a cilantro aglioli, okay? That's it. Buen provecho, mm -hmm. okay? Oh, damn, he's making the cut. Oh, man, that looks good. That does look good. Okay, and then tell me how the sweets. Uh, of course, you have to guess what the sweets are. Let's start with the yellow one. Uh, let's see if you can guess what no, the really sweet is made of. Honey. 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 Say honey. No, honey. I don't know what is it. So we eat the no this one first? No, you're just eating my food. Any guess? Sweet potato? Very good. <laughs> So this is like literally the best dessert I've ever had. It's called cremoso. It's got like a mixture of different fruits, like a cream and peanuts on top. Learn how to make this one, please. It's really good. I love it so much. Yeah. How to do it? Go ask chef. Can you? Chef. I'm gonna go ask some chef. To me, you can't just eat that one alone. I know, honey. I need to wait my turn. Yeah. There you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, Jimmy. I don't think I'm gonna go with as much as she did. She went with a astronomical amount. What is this? Caramel? It, it's not caramel. It's um. You can't say caramel because the, the locals would be very upset. It, it has a tradition. A, a dulce. So I didn't put a lot of aduce, but there's the coconut. Thank you. Oh, coconut. Excuse me. Coconut is the, the other mixture. It's coconut. It's coconut. I went through that too. Oh my god. That is good. You're like, yes. That's one of the best things you'll ever try. It's like crumbly and sweet. And coconutty, oh, because it has a soft texture of caramel, the crumbly texture of the cookies, and the coconut flavor. Oh, it's so good! Oh my God, what is that? A meatloaf? That's a meatloaf! Bro, you got a meatloaf for your birthday. I feel like we're gonna have a really long memory. Not this 
fuerte. Right. Arriba. 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 So if you guys haven't seen, we have our new clothing line out. We have long sleeves, short sleeves, crop tops, amazing hoodies that are made with Egyptian cotton. So if you guys are interested, you can head down in the description box below and check out divertliving.com forward slash shop and get all of your apparel. We have worldwide free shipping. This is by far like the best quality lot, uh, lot? Line. line that we have ever made. So, we really want you guys to feel it right now, but you just can't, apparently you just can't touch Maybe it from Maybe you YouTube. can. Try. <laughs>